Welcome to the tutorial video for the new Hale portable fire pump. I'm going to go through the operation of the device when it's turned off so that everyone can hear, and then I'll actually go ahead and run it. The first thing you want to do is connect your fuel system, make sure it's secure, pump up the ball, make sure it's nice and hard, then you'll have fuel to the device. We're going to want to make sure before we start it that our discharge valve here and our two drain valves on this side are in the closed position, which they are right now. Then to start it, turn it into the on, set the choke to about half choke, turn it to the on position, and then you have our ignition switch right here. If the battery power fails, there is a pull start right here. In order to establish prime, we're going to make sure this valve is in this open position on the intake housing, and then we have our priming lever here that will maintain pressure on until water starts to come out of the exhaust manifold. That way we know that we have prime. Then we close that and we adjust the water pressure with the throttle and the discharge port all the way open. All right, now we'll go ahead and start it. Thro choke to about half choke. On, red light shows that we have power. Throttle's in the slow position currently. Turning it on. Running. Close the throttle. Make sure our valve's open. Set to about half throttle, and then we'll start the throttle. Water's coming out. The two drain ports are over on this side. Once all the water is drained out, we'll be able to see that. And in the winter time, once the water is drained out, and we take off the suction tube, we'll want to add some RV antifreeze to that intake to make sure it doesn't freeze up. That's all there is to it.